night and the city. The night is tonight, tomorrow night, or any night. The city is London. <laughs> You won't find any money there, Harry. What do you mean, spying on me? I, uh... I was just looking for a cigarette. Makes you think I Who are you running away from now? Running? Me? Now, you know me better than that. Three days and three nights and not a word for me. Well, I've been very busy. For all I knew, you were lying in the gutter somewhere with a knife in your back. Lying in the gutter? Now, look, sweetheart, I'll tell you what happened. I was in Birmingham. Birmingham? Yes. There's a fellow up there starting a new Greyhound track, and he wants me for a partner. It's a chance of a lifetime, Mary. I'll be in on the ground floor. I only expected to be gone for a day, but when I saw that layout, I stayed over. And when you see... Look, honey. Look, here's the plan. How much? How much? Look, Harry, we've been through this a thousand times. How much? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. For our share, it's only 300 pounds. 300 pounds, and it's a life of ease and plenty. No! You've got the money. You've got it right here. Sure, sure, I've got it. But not for any Greyhound track. Why, last month but it was... But this is different, enough. Mary. This can't lose. Oh, Harry, why can't you ever grow up? Mary, you got to get hold of yourself. You can't go on forever, always running, always in a sweat. Do you think I enjoy working night after night at the Silver Fox? Getting drunks drunker? But I'm sticking it out, waiting for the day we can marry. Lead decent, normal lives. Remember them, Harry. Nice people. Nice to know and be with. Remember the plans they used to make? The kind of life they were going to live? I just want to be somebody. I've got to hurry, Harry. 
You'd better hurry, too. Nosferus is angry with you. Let him wait. Him and his big, fat belly. I'm not leaving here. You mean you're afraid to leave? Everything but five pounds. He's the one that put up the money for the football pool. Wait here. disastrous results. Mary, get that siphon bottle there, quickly. The soda? Yes, hurry, hurry. Here. Oh. Don't just stand there, woman. Squirt, squirt. There. You're just in time to enjoy the most heavenly spaghetti dinner. Ah, oh, thanks. But I've just had breakfast, unfortunately. I admit it does look a little overdone. Oh, well, try again next week. Probably starve doing it, but I'll master it in the end, I promise. That's the thing that keeps us apart, you know. Your spaghetti? Yes, in a way. When I'm having my spaghetti, you're looking for your morning toast. Do you think we might ever arrange our day to meet somewhere around tea time? Come on, sit down. Oh, here, let me get these hideous little monsters out of the way. Oh, I think he's cute. She? Well, she's cute. The shops tell me it's the best-selling design I've given them so far. Discouraging. You're probably pleased as punch. Of course. Sit down and really be comfortable. Thanks, Adam, but I've got to get on to work. I've come to ask for a favor. Name it. Could you let me have three pounds until tomorrow? Help yourself. Punch the night bell. The old lady of Threadneedle Street is well stocked and quite generous. You know, it does look like the Bank of England. Well, it should. I spent half my youth reproducing it. <laughs> it's very good. Of course. <laughs> Wonderful. You're very clever, Adam. I am about unimportant things. How so? Thanks, Adam. I, uh, I happen to need this right now for... Well, I didn't expect them to deliver the... Sure. Harry's back. You knew that, didn't you? These walls. Just one big happy family. He gets so excited, almost like a child. But you know, Adam, one has to fight not to get pulled in by his excitement. His ideas always have so much imagination. I know. Harry's an artist without an art. What does that mean? Well, that's something that can make a man very unhappy, Mary. Groping for the right lever, the means with which to express himself. Yes, he is that, isn't he? I like that, Adam. It's a very nice thought. Yes, but it can be dangerous. Oh, no, you don't. Not again. Every time you talk, you mix me up so I can't think straight for a week. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Anything. Anytime. Never mind. When are you going to open up your Paris office, Harry? Yeah. Evening, Molly. Evening, Molly. Yeah. 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 Well, you're sober. Trade must be slow. Slow? Disintegrates him. <laughs> yeah, you need a fresh foundation. Thanks, Molly. Put it on my account. That's will you? all right, my dear. I'll trust ah, you. There you are, Bert. Fresh, Harry. Off a crown. Don't mention it. And if you girls want to work for my husband, you've got to start off on the right foot. You must understand the rules, what he'll stand for and what he won't. First, no stealing from the gentleman while you're in the club. What you do outside is none of his business, but in here we take it from them legitimate and no complaints later. Remember, 
If a gentleman wants to dance, or if he wants you to sit with him, your time costs anything from a quid up, but don't harp on money. Be subtle. Whatever he gives you, take it first, look disappointed afterwards. If a man offers you a Turkish cigarette, tell him you only smoke Virginian. If he's smoking Virginian, then you smoke Turkish. Oh, yes, chocolates. Fancy boxes. We sell at two pounds. Isn't two quid a bit steep for a box of chocolates? They're hand-dipped, dearie. When the night's out, I buy them back from you for a third of what the gentleman paid. Evening, Phil. Well, oh, need any help with that stuff? <laughs> Where have you been, dear boy? Well, I, I've... Uh, been having a pleasant to... holiday at Cannes or spending the weekend at Windsor Castle? I've been ill. Oh. Poor boy's been ill. I read all about it in the Times. Mr. Fabian, it is reported, is suffering from a highly inflamed imagination, a coupled by delusions of grandeur. Well, where's he been? Now, 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 Helen, mustn't be unkind. The dear boy's been at death's door. Well, I'm glad to see you're fully recovered. We were worried about him, weren't we, Phil? Indeed we were. It's getting late. Time for dear boy to get dressed and hop it. Hop it. Uh, take care of yourself, dear boy. Three live ones? What's it worth to you? Depends on how much you know. Depends on how much you'll go. From Chicago, men's clothing business. One of them, the half bite, kept on talking about a friend of his called Lamont he must write to. This here Lamont's in the motor supply business in something he calls the Loop. Good evening, sir. Good evening. The usual? If you please. It's good to have you back in London, sir. Thank you, Charles. Uh oh. I beg your pardon. Does this wallet belong to one of you gentlemen? Why, no, it doesn't. Good evening, Mr. Fabian. Oh, good evening, Emil. Someone must have dropped this. Soon come running for it, no doubt. Thank you, Mr. Fabian. <laughs> Happened to me once back in the States, traveling from New York to San Francisco. Yeah. Changed trains to Chicago, you know? Yeah. Darn if I don't lose my wallet. No. no. <laughs> Luckily, I knew a chap in the loop, motor supplies. A fella named Lamont. Lamont? Did you say Lamont? Oh, yes. You mean Stubby Lamont? St Why, yes. Well, what do you we know, Stubby? Said Lamont. Yes. We, know. we were just yeah. talking about him. Yeah. Oh, wait till I tell Stubby. Yes, just wait. Oh, <laughs> it's like meeting someone from home. Yeah, that's quite a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have a cigarette. Yes, have a cigarette. Oh, no, no, thank you, Thank you very much. Been in London long? Uh, just two days. Two days, huh? Yeah. On business? Well, you know. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> well, I'm sure your business will be a great success. <laughs> Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Good night. Say, uh, you boys surely don't plan to spend the entire evening here. Always open to suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do know of a place. Yeah? yeah. A bit naughty, <laughs> <laughs> but great fun. Yeah. Silver Fox, private club. <laughs> private club? Mm -hmm. Oh, here, you take my card. You'll be well taken care of. Why, thanks. That's sweet. That's a pleasure. Might yeah. see you there. Yeah. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And, uh, when you write to Stubby, give him my best. Will you? Uh, you bet. Sure, you bet. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night. 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 Good
Pardon me. Does this wallet belong to one of you gentlemen? Out. I beg your pardon. Out. What do you mean, this is a public place? Size the mold. Move. Well, evidently you don't know who I am. Mr. Christo, don't like club touts hustling suckers in his arena. Get out. Pigs! 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 Gregorius! Gregorius! Let me hear. Pigs! Come on. Why, that, that's Gregorius. Who? Finest wrestler the world's ever known. Papa, please. Where are you going? Is it for this you brought me from Athens? This circus? What have you done to wrestling? Do you think I permit Nicholas to wrestle with such film? No, 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 no. Take it easy, old boy. Take it easy. You do not talk like that to my father. Get out. For this, I do not thank you, my son. Please, Papa. Listen to me. You must understand that times have changed. Tastes, people, everything changes. Tomorrow morning, I'll take you and Nicholas to Liverpool. Tomorrow, I go back to Athens. This filthy exhibition wrestling. I beg your pardon? I demand my money back, do you hear me? Easy on, easy on. Where's your ticket? It's right here. Disgusting. I've never witnessed such a spectacle. No. No, it can't be. You're not Gregorius. Gregorius the Great. You see, Nicholas? There are people who do not forget great wrestling. Forget? Forget the greatest wrestler the world has ever known? I was just a kid, but how can one ever forget your glorious struggle with the... Uh... Heiterschmidt? Heiterschmidt, yes, of course, Heiterschmidt. I thank you, young man. I thank you, sir. My name is Harry Fabian. This is Nicholas. A fine-looking lad. Thanks. Uh, do you suppose you could uh, pin a man like the uh, Strangler, say? Yes. Oh. Strangler? Nicholas pinned ten stranglers, all in same ring, same time. Well, well, yes, I should think he could. I, uh, I would consider it a great honor, sir, if you and Nicholas would have a drink with me. Mr. Fabian, you fine young man, I like you. We'll drink to your great contemporary, Heiterschmidt. Young man, you are too charming. <laughs> Very well, young man. Fine, fine. You know, I have a strange feeling that our meeting tonight is, uh... Well, we'll talk over our yeah. drinks. All right. Raise your elbow. Raise your elbow, raise your elbow. Down she goes. Here's to La France, here's to Champagne. Empty your glass, fill it again. Here's to the Frenchman who knew what to do with...
don't mess about with my customers. Oh, look, now look here, Harry. Thank you, Mrs. Nasseris. Thank you very much for slicing my throat. Playing the loving wife, looking out for her husband's interests. Huh? Well, you don't fool Harry Fabian. I know every twist and turn in your scheming brain. Oh, yes, looking out for her husband. Looking out for the day he'll turn his toes up and leave the bundle to you. He counts his quids while you count the days. Sitting on his grave to keep it warm for him. Watching every penny just so you... What do you think you're doing? How's Mary? You leave Mary alone, you hear me? She's fine with me. You married the boss, didn't you? You moved on and up. But I think of you. Yeah, you certainly showed it tonight. Put 200 on that desk. My husband will match it. Thank you, Mrs. Nasserus. No. Good night. Harry. 200 quid. Now take it to Phil and get his. Helen, what? He never let you have a shilling. Where'd you get it? Never mind. Just listen closely and do as I tell you. Yeah, sure, Helen. Anything you say, anything you say. You show that to Phil. He'll give you the 200 quid that I made him promise you. Helen, you're a wonder and no mistake. And you won't regret this. I promise you. I promise you that. I promise you. Fabian promotions. Fabian wrestling. There'll be, be the... no wrestling. What? I've got a nightclub. Yes, my own. Bought a year ago. Flamenco's old club. Flamen what? Flamenco's closed down, struck off by the police for two years. That's why I got it on credit. In another year, all I have to do is to put up five shillings for a license and I'm in business. But I can't wait another day. One more year living with that. I've got to get away from it, Harry. I must get away before I... That's what the money's for, a license. And you're the only man I know who can get it. You're gonna bribe, steal, murder, I don't care what you do. But with that money, you're gonna get me a license for my club now. Oh, but listen, Helen, if Phil gives me the 200, it's got to be for the wrestling. That's right. But you'll just go through the motions till we're ready to open the club. But Phil's no easy mark. I know. I'm gonna give you a... You're crazy, Helen. You don't know what I've got. I've got Gregorius a shield. I've got Crystal Stop Cold. I can control wrestling in London. I'm through hustling for nightclubs for you or for anybody else. For yourself! What do you think Phil takes in an evening? Never less than a hundred quid. And who do you think runs the place for him? I do, me. I know how to make a club spin. But if he can do that, just think, Harry, think. We're younger, stronger, healthier than he is. We've got more life in our little fingers than he has in the whole of his body. Oh, Harry, darling, we must have got to get away from him. Please, Harry, please, please, no, listen, please. Listen! Please. Listen! Listen, you can still get away from Phil. This wrestling pitch is going to mean a lot to us. It's going to mean the whole... <laughs> All right, Helen. You always were a smart girl. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I'm always right. Now telephone that wrestler. Tell him you're set. You'll string him and Phil along. But night and day, you're gonna do one thing. Rip London apart if you have to, but you're gonna get me that license. All right. Who is it? We're looking for a Mr. Harry Fabian. He's not here. Place is closed. Go away. Mr. Christo sent us. Oh, sorry, forgive me. It is I who must ask you to forgive this intrusion, sir. But it is imperative that I have a few words with Mr. Harry Fabian. Well, I understand he is employed by you, sir. Well, in a manner of speaking, he works on commission, but I should hardly... Ah, yes, regard quite. To... My name, sir, is Chilk. Sergus Chilk. I am Mr. Christo's personal solicitor. This is Mr. Yosh. He also is employed by Mr. Christo. Well, if there's anything I can do for Mr. Christo... Oh, yes, quite, thank you. Mr. Christo is disturbed. Yes, disturbed. Word has reached him that a certain Harry Fabian is about to engage in the promotion of wrestling. It is Mr. Christo's opinion, sir, that this Mr. Fabian would find such a venture unprofitable. 
Well, I can assure you that Mr. Cristo need have no concern. Tonight, Mr. Fabian is pleased to regard himself as a great sports promoter. Tomorrow, he will undoubtedly own Coffin Garden. He is given to these uh, flights of fancy. Oh, yes, quite. Mr. Cristo has found it necessary to leave for Liverpool on business. Therefore, it might prove fruitful if Mr. Fabian called on me for a brief talk. Would you give him my card, sir? I shall be delighted. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Dearie. How many times have I told you not to eat down here? You drop that swill and it brings mice. Clean it up and get out. Yes, my love. Still up, Pip? Come here, Helen. Oh, I'm just dead beat, Pip. I had a bit of a headache, so I walked it off. I want to talk to you. Oh, in the morning, Pip. Didn't we do well tonight, though? Oh, now. Yes, I've been thinking, Helen. I'm a rich man, richer than you know. I want to clear out, sell this place, get rid of everything. Just travel, enjoy ourselves, see a bit of the world. Bermuda, Jamaica. Mm, sounds exciting, Pip. But somehow I'm not in the mood for a holiday just now. Quid, Phil. Right on your desk. Match it. <laughs> Didn't think I could do it, did you? Didn't think I could raise two bob. Well, there it is, two hundred. This is it, Phil. Put up your money, you're my partner. I'll play it square. I'll play it fair and square right down the line. <laughs> and watch our 400 quid grow, Phil. Wrestling is just the beginning. Later on, we'll, we'll branch out. You'll be proud of me. You'll be proud to say, Harry Fabian? Why, he's my partner. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll say the word, Phil, you in or out. So you really did it, didn't you, Harry? There it is. Yes, I must admit. I have underestimated you. Oh, that's all right, Phil. No hard feelings. Thank you, Harry. Yes, you have ideas, very smart ideas. There's no telling how far this will take you. <laughs> I shall be happy to back you. Very happy indeed. Two hundred pounds. And two make four. Honored to be your partner. Fine, fine. You won't regret it, Phil. I'm sure I shan't, dear boy. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be in touch with you, partner. Well, Harry, your silent partner, for private reasons, I prefer the business to be in your name. Oh, just my name? Yes. Now, remember, nobody must know about my connection for private reasons. The business is to be in your name. Well, all right, Phil. If that's the way you want it. That's the way I want it. Hello, Strangler. Good. 
Nicholas. Bad. Bad, 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 Nicholas. Like so, you will do? Here, take my wrist like so. Hold it. Now try it. Ah. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. You go. I have ticket. Get out. This place is for wrestlers. I pay half crown and I have ticket. If I pay my money, I can come in. There's your money. Now, please leave. Go on, go on, we're busy. Charlie, don't ever let him in again. I told you to keep all that crystal gang out of here. Yes, sir. All right, boys, let's get back to work. Let's get on with it. Come on, Nicholas, better have a rub. You're getting cool. That's it. Bend your backs, boys. Bend your backs. Yes. Right there, son. Thank you. Want some? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Boy. Uh, yes, sir? There you are, son. Thank you, sir. Mr. Fabian, Mr. Crystal. Yes, I, uh, how, how do you do? I have here the copy of a contract. I've read it with great interest. Mr. Choke is going to read it to you. Agreed. Strand Arena Limited agrees to let to Harry Fabian. Uh, that is you, Harry Fabian. Uh, yes, yes. The facilities of its arena for the purpose of exhibiting a wrestling match on June the 15th of the above dated year, when said Harry Fabian will present one Nicholas versus Svensson, the Viking. Uh, June the 15th, that's uh, four days from now. It would seem that I've returned to London without too many days to spare. <laughs> it is further agreed that said Harry Fabian will make to Strand Arena Limited the final payment of 100 pounds no later than three days before the said exhibition, namely June the 12th of a bad dated year. It is... Yes, uh, Nicholas versus Svensson, uh, fine boys, fine boys. I, I, I expect a big crowd. Oh, it's nothing like your stuff. It's real Greco-Roman wrestling. I, I'd be honored, Mr. Christo, if you came. Go away, Mr. Fabian. Go to Montreal, which is in Canada. There you can promote wrestling. In London, you cannot. I say it, Mr. Fabian. Then I suggest you say it to my partner. Mr. Christo, my partner. Mr. Christo has made an interesting suggestion that we go to Montreal because we can't promote wrestling in London. What do you think, Gregorius? Mr. Christo says there's no room for you in London. Papa, you did not go home. What do you want? I... I want to talk to you, now. I have nothing to hear from you. I beg you to listen. You must not get mixed up with this, this club tout. If you would say something good about Mr. Fabian, then I worry. Papa, please, everybody in London knows what he is. He'll swindle you, he'll cheat you, he'll break your heart. You have break my heart. He is my partner and my friend. Stay away from him, my son. When you lift your hand to him, you strike me. Very sharp, Mr. Fabian. You've done a very sharp thing. Maybe even sharp enough to cut your throat. You've made my father believe in you, but I know you. Born a hustler, you will die a hustler. All right. But you promised him clean wrestling. Give him clean wrestling. 
do not betray that wonderful old man. Yes, it's all right. He's still asleep. Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? Great stroke of luck. My connection came through. You've got your license. Oh, I knew it. If there's anybody in London who could do it, it'd be you. It's going to cost you something, though. It wasn't easy to get. But it's 18 carats straight out of the police court. I'll bring the license to you in about... No, no. Stay where you are. I'll meet you there. No, 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 no. That, that won't be necessary. You see, uh, I, uh, I haven't got it yet. But you just said you had it, didn't you? What are you up to, Harry? Am I going to meet you there or not? Well, all right, all right. I, I'll, I'll meet you at the court at uh, 3 o'clock. No, no, Helen, make it uh, 4 o'clock. All right. But please don't keep me waiting, Harry. I'll be there at 4 o'clock. Goodbye. Out to the right, down the embankment steps, at the other end of the building. Thank you, thank you very much. Mr. Nosoros, you puzzle me. You confuse me. How is it possible that you want to invest in Christo's enterprises and at the same time you're backing Harry Fabian? I don't quite understand. I know that you are Fabian's back. Now, let's have that clear. Now, what do you really want? Harry Fabian is in my way. Harry Fabian is in my way because of you. You fed him money. I can withdraw that money. And then you will be free to deal with him. You missed the point, Mr. Noceros. It isn't your money that keeps him alive. Harry Fabian is not a competitor. As long as he keeps his promise to promote only Greco-Roman wrestling, his business failure is certain. The public simply won't buy it. But the point is, my father would still believe that Harry Fabian is an honorable man. And I can't touch him. He is unpunished. And I'm not satisfied merely to see him become a hustler once again. Neither am I. Just a minute, Mr. Noceros. We haven't finished. I'll deliver Fabian to you. Your father shall learn that Harry Fabian is not an honorable man. Hello, Phil. Sorry to be late. So many things to take care of. Business, business, business. Why'd you ask me to meet you here? I'm afraid of Christo. You're not. You bet I'm not. He came to the gym last Monday. You know what he said? Go to Montreal, which is in Canada. <laughs> you know what I did? Had the bouncer tossing down the stairs. He crawled like a sewer rat. I'm sure. Now, there's just one thing more to settle, Phil. The hundred quid for the final payment in the arena. We're all set. Harry, uh, I've brought you here to tell you that I'm withdrawing from our partnership. What? Well, I'm advised that your kind of wrestling can't succeed. This Greek or Roman. Won't draw five. But you can't back out now. You've invested a lot of money. I'm sorry. I'll take the loss, and that's final. Phil, wait! Phil! Phil, wait! Why are you backing out? Everything's in the palm of my hand. Why? I refuse to throw good money out to bed. But you know what this means to me, Phil? Harry. Harry, this is my last word on the subject. Get a box office attraction, a big name, then you'll get the money. What do you mean? Well, I know nothing about wrestling, but I'm told there are men who are big draws. Men like, for instance, the Strangler. The Strangler? But I can't. Gregorius should leave me. If you don't, then I'm forced to leave you. And then where are you? 
Now, as I see it, Harry, your only course is to keep moving right ahead. Go on, get the strangler. That's your first problem. And then I'm sure you'll have no difficulty in persuading any wrestler to meet him. Seems to me you have no alternative. Have you? All right, I can do it. I can do it. I'll do it. But will you give me the money to get the strangler? Of course I will. I'll back you without a limit. I consider it a sound investment, dear boy. All right. Another the same, gin for me. Hello, Beer, what's a good word? Well, hello to you. Hey, words all over town that you made Christo turn tail. How'd you do it? Brains, chum, brains and guts. Hey, there's no stopping you now, eh, Harry? Never was. Where's the strangler? Yeah, he's joined Madame La Poche's circus for dinner. Look at him. Ain't he a cute sight? Yes, very cute, very cute. Uh, Beer, uh... How much do you get for the Strangler when he fights for Crystal? Well, it all depends, Harry. Sometimes 50 it... quid, that's what you get. All right, now that I've shown you managers that Crystal's all bubble and squeak, I'm ready to throw a little business your way. Uh -huh. Next week, the Strangler fights for me, 100 quid. Hey, you ain't in such a cushy spot after all, are you, Harry? You really need the Strangler, don't you? 200 quid, Harry. All right, all right, 200 it is. The Strangler fights Nicholas. Nicholas? Hey, that's a good show. Yeah, but how are you going to make old Gregoria swallow that? Don't look surprised at anything that happens. Come on, keep your mouth shut. No. I'd do it to oblige you, Beer, but Gregorius wouldn't let the strangler within ten feet of him. You know what he did to him that morning? Threw him out of the gym. <laughs> the strangler fight Nicholas? Why, that clown isn't fit to breathe the same air as Nicholas. Hey, you, I kill Nicholas. I break him in pieces. Well, hello, strangler. You kill, you break. <laughs> you didn't do it that morning. Your boy is quite a comedian, Beer. I saw Nicholas take one step toward him. Your boy turned white and took two steps back. I step back from that dancing boy. Next time I see him, I'll you kill him. You can see him now, brave man. He's at the gym. Why don't you drop in? Oh, yes, 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 I know. You're having dinner. Lock. If you move here, I give you headlock. Move. Be a brave boy. Move. Hello, boys. Why don't you both move? It's time to go home. No, 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 no. Just a few minutes rest, but plenty work. Man, what's the matter with you, crazy? You, Nicholas! I trust you. Take now look, I threw you out of here once. Call me clown. Don't feed me. We don't want you here. Get out the... Come and fight, dancing boy. What do you want to, afraid? Get out. Here, take him away. Get him out of here. You, you old woman. Why don't you let him fight me? Come fight. Wait. Wait. All right. All right, you fight him. Nicholas will fight you. But a match in public with a referee. Gregorius, we've got to show him. Once and for all, we've got to show him. We'll let Nicholas break this clown in half. Yes. I let my boy crush you. Crush me? Beer! Why? Beer! Take your boy in my office. I'll be in in a minute. Gregorius, it's the only way. 
We'll let Nicholas finish him and his whole cheap circus, once and for all. Once and for all. Harry, you Harry, you're sensational. You're a wonder. Do you know what you've just done? Why, you've just cooked up the biggest wrestling match London will ever see. <laughs> How'd you do it, boy? Just brains and guts. Yeah, you're clever, Harry, and no mistake. Yes, and you're quick, too. How quick can you pay me that 200 quid? Mickey, hold your breath. Be back by the time you read the contract with the 200 quid. Have yourself a drink. Here, use my pen to sign it. Harry, boy, I don't know how you do it. versus the beast yesterday versus today you'll get one thousand percent on your money i told you never to come here i told I you i got the trouble with... is this the truth he's at the gym right now with his manager go ahead see for yourself call my office temple bar double oh oh one double oh oh one yes sir strength So you've got the strangler, hmm? and he's in your gymnasium at the moment. That's right. Wonderful, Harry. You really are a wonder, no mistake. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Sure. Hello. Uh, Mr. Nostrus here. I want to talk to Mr. Christo, please. Thank you. I'll hold up. Christo. Yes, dear boy, Christo. There comes a time when a lad must learn the true facts of life and death. Well, dear boy, your time has come. What do you say? You see, Christo and I are old friends. Consequently, I feel it my duty to tell him about the strangler. What are you saying? I'm saying that nobody, nobody cuts in on Philip Nosseros. No, dear boy, I am not giving you 200 quid. I am giving you the sharp edge of the knife. Hello? I'll wait. You've been trying to kill me. I have. Why? Because you're a thief. You tried to steal something from me, something that I bought and paid for. Well, I... Helen? Helen? Oh, no, 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 no. Phil, listen to me. It's crazy. Put down that phone. Put that phone down. I don't want Helen. She means nothing to me. Nothing. She gave you the money. Yes, but I, I, I took it because I was desperate, Phil. You wouldn't listen to me, remember? But I didn't cross you, Phil. I played it straight with you. Hello? Oh, well, find him, please. It's very urgent. Tell him to go at once to Fabian's gymnasium. He'll find the strangler there. Phil! Phil! Now, please don't make a scene. You committed a crime against me, but it'll be Christo who'll punish you for betraying his father. Now, just leave quietly. Like the little gentleman you've always wanted to be. <laughs> so you think you've done me in, huh? <laughs> well, you're wrong. I have a little information for you, dear boy. The old man, Gregorius, he's standing by me. Yes, he wants Nicholas to fight the Strangler. I made him want it. He wants it. You are a one. You did it, and now you can get rich. You've got Christo stopped, you've got the Strangler, and Gregorius is on your side. It's a wonderful situation, because you've got it all. But you can't put the fight on, because you don't have the money, and there isn't a man in all London who'll let you have a shilling. You've got it all, but you're a dead man. Harry Fabian, a dead man.
I will. Just stay where you are. I'll come at once. Soon, if you just walk back to your flat. Back to flat? Yes, he just went by me like all the devils of Bashan were after him. Never mind. What is it, Mary? What's happened? Is there something I could do? Adam, don't come up. Not now. Have a cut of it. Maybe you need a manager. <laughs> Sign. Thank you. Nicholas, why name for dancing boy? Oh, please, Nicholas, please. Get out. Go teach a woman. I crush you like. Oh, no way. I break you on my chicken bone. Yeah, that's enough of that. Get behind old man, shoeshine boy. Gregorius the Great. I'm gonna get out of there. The greatest wrestler the world has ever known. He never loses. Never lose. He never wrestles. Stop it! Stand in ring and make so wrestling joke. Pooh! What? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Let me go. No! Don't Let me go! Get out of here! Get out! Get out! Let me go! Let me go! Nicholas, I told you to get out! Get out! Nicholas, please! <laughs> Gregorius, Nicholas' wrist is broken! It's broken, Gregorius' wrist! Maniac! Fabian! Fabian, come out of there! Fabian, come out of every! Beer, we gotta stop him! We gotta stop him! You can't. The only way to stop him now is to shoot him like mad bulls. <laughs> Keep out of it! Keep out of it! You'll get killed. Gregorius! Arm lever! Arm lever! Gregorius! Arm lever! Lever, Gregorius! No! No! Get your arms around him! 
Bear hug, Gregorius! Bear hug! Bear hug! Hold on! Now! Now you got him! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! That's what I do to your clowns. I'm all right. Lie down, Papa. My son, close the window. It's called the wind. All right. 
Papa. It's closed. Thank you, my son. Papa! Papa! I have good life. Hermes, my Let go of me! Let go! I'll call him on the stairs. Where is Fabian? Where is Fabian? Are you going to wait before Please, Mr. Christa. It was Fabian. I didn't know what he was up to. Fabian did it all. He went to work on the strangler. He needled him, he, he insulted him. He, he brought him here, he gave him whiskey. Well, he pushed the strangler into it. Why, well, he drove him so crazy, he didn't know what he was doing. Please, Mr. Christo, we had no idea I that... I want Fabian. Get the word around. The East End, Soho, the embankment. A thousand pounds for the man who gets Fabian. I want him. Say I kill Gregorius. Fabian kill him.
you all right, sir? Yes, I'm all right. Jerry's phoning for the police. Oh, never mind. Uh, tell them to clear up the mess. That's a bit of a ape. On the contrary, he's a friend of mine. A very particular and dear friend of mine. What is it, Pet? I'm leaving you, Phil. Hello. You'll be all right. A week will go by, a month. You'll be all right. Hello. How will you live? I've been making plans for a long time, Phil. Now I'm set. I'm in business with Harry Fabian. Oh, Helen. You don't know what you're walking into. I know what I'm walking out of. Helen, believe me. Believe me, there's no future with Fabian. I'll make one. I know Fabian, and I'll control him. I, I've been good to you. I've done everything for you. I love you. Oh, for goodness sake, Phil, at least say goodbye like a man. Helen, you'll come back. Oh, no, I won't. Look, black and white, the license for my club, my birth certificate. Believe me, Helen, I know. Oh, why don't you get out of my way? Let me go! Go. Get out. But you'll end where you started, back on the dives, and then you'll come crawling back to me. To you? If you had all the money in the world, I couldn't stand you another minute. I wouldn't come back to you. No, Helen, you'll come back. And I'll want to take you back. And if he was anywhere near here, we'd have had him long ago. One thousand quid. <laughs> Reeves. I'm with that construction crew. Oh, yeah. We're putting up some lamp platforms so we can load a few lorries with cement for the exhibition site. I suppose you've got permission of the owner, sir? Oh, yes, yes. The superintendent's taking care of all that. You see, I had in mind to take our platform... Look at those chaps in the car. They're not with you? No, they're not with our company. Might be lawyers. I never were with them. Yes, do no harm. This time of night, you never know. That's right, sir. Can I help you, gentlemen? Uh, well, we seem to be lost. We've been driving around and around. Uh, can you tell me how to get to York Road? At 40 yards on the other side, then.
Who? Folly, the engineer from the office. Oh, I don't know. Where's the phone? Up in the shack, sir. Up in the shack. Yes, yes, I know, Harry. I heard. Where are you? It's only a few minutes away. Please, Finger. Please let me come. Yeah, sure. Come right away, Harry boy. You'll be safe here. Oh, thanks, Finger. Thanks. Hello. Hello, Finger here. Let me talk to Mr. Christo. Find him. Tell him to phone me at once. Urgent. No, no, no. I don't trust nobody. I ain't doing business with nobody but Mr. Christo himself. Not for 1,000 quid, I ain't. Keep his glass filled. There'll be a waiter at your elbow all the time. Oh. Good evening, officer. Good evening, ma'am. Making your pardon. I have this place listed as being struck off for another year, and I've had no word from the station. You will have. Here. This your regular beat? I hope so, ma'am. Just finished training school last month. Well, good for you. Let's have a drink to celebrate it. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. A police constable on duty is oh, not permitted come to. Come on. You can't be breaking many rules with a little ginger ale. We're opening here on Saturday night. You certainly can't refuse to wish me luck. Thank you, ma'am. All the best. Well, uh, everything seems to be in order. I'll just make a note of the serial number. Where did you obtain this license, ma'am? I'm afraid this is not in order. I shall have to take it up and deliver it to the authorities at Bow Street. I'm sure you'll be able to explain everything at the police court. I'm sorry, ma'am. Good night. I said I'd come back. Oh, forgive me, Phil. I was out of my mind. I didn't mean those things. I... Take me back, Phil. I'll be good to you. I'll do everything for you. I'll look after you. Let's make that trip, Phil. Oh, it'll be wonderful. Phil, take me back. Please take me back. Phil, give me another chance. He didn't kill himself. You killed him. And I've a right to this bottle, see? I can even throw bits of swill on the floor and bring the mice, and you can't throw me out, see? <laughs> you don't believe me, eh? Well, just you have a look in this strong box, dearie. It's all here. All written here in writing, it is. Black and white. You're afraid, ain't you, dearie? You know what he wrote? Left everything to old Molly. Good as new. Feel all right now. I think I'll move. Where? Why? It's getting light. I gotta get out of London. I'll use a back way. 
You're crazy, Harry. Not tonight. Tonight the old underworld's after you. Stay here. You're safe here. No, thanks. One of your beggars will pop in. It'll be all over. I won't let him see you. I won't let him in. I'll lock the door. That's right. I'll lock the door. Then no one will come in. What I mean, Harry? Stay here. Go upstairs. I'll nip up and have a look round. And if I see anybody, I'll tip you off. I'll come and tell you. OK, Harry. You're right. One of my beggars might come in. I'll nip out and get me lorry. I'll hide you in the back. Hello? Yes, this is Figler. Yes. Yes, I did. No, I can't. I can't. Yes, of course I do. Yes, sir. That would be a bit difficult. Yes. Yes. Right on the premises. How much are you selling me for? There are you. help you. Nobody can help you. I don't want any help. I just want to... I just want to sit down and rest. I can't run anymore. Come on in. You're a sorry sight. Come on. Don't do much good. I know the river front's alive with them. Just alive with them. Hungry? No. Got it all. But you're a dead man, Harry Fabian. Mary said it too. She said it. She said, You're killing me and you're killing yourself. Oh, Anna. I was so close to being on top, Anna. You know what I had? 
right here, right here in the palm of my hand. Control of wrestling in all London. Yes, yes, I did, Anna. The newspaper men, they came. What is your opinion, Mr. Fabian? <laughs> to me, they came. Oh, you don't know how close, Anna. So close. An accident. Just an accident. And then everything fell apart. Harry Fabian. Stop running. Everywhere. Mary. You gotta get out of London, Harry. I got some money for you. Don't. Don't be kind to me. Maybe it was all my fault, Harry. I didn't know how to help you. No woman could love anybody like I loved you. You kept me shut out from so much. I couldn't keep up with you. Oh, Harry. Harry. You could have been anything. Anything. You had brains. Ambition. You worked harder than any ten men. But the wrong things. Always the wrong things. Harry, listen. Listen, I've got an idea. Harry Fabian's not through yet. I always promised you a life of ease and plenty, didn't I? Well, I can still make you rich. The money I took from you, that's chicken thief. Now listen, pay attention. There's a reward for my head, a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. Oh, Harry, don't Now, out you go on the bridge. Christo's there, but he doesn't know where I am. Oh, Harry. You tell him where I am, and it's a thousand quid oh, for you. Oh, Harry, you Somebody's got to collect. No, Mary, for the first time in my life, it's a foolproof idea, don't you see? Money she cut my throat for you. Pay her the 